guys, so today's video is going to be my December vlog. So I guess I kind of do have a lot of updates, not really a lot, but a couple. Um, the first one is that Merlin passed, and um, it's been really sad, like, I really don't understand why he passed away, I'm not sure what from, because um, the day, like, that I found him. My mom said in the morning that he was perfectly fine and acting his normal self, so it's a little bit weird that he kind of just, something happened. I don't think it was shock that he went into. I'm not really sure, but yeah. And he wasn't old or anything, so it was an old age. And he was probably only a couple months old, probably like maybe two to, four months old I would say and my kids tours did have Merlin in them which kind of made me happy to see him because I really wanted to show you guys that video because of the cute things him and Petrie were doing with the kebabs and stuff so I really didn't want to like not have to upload that so I just thought I would still upload it even though like the cages have changed since he passed and He's not here anymore. I still wanted to upload that video. So, yeah. So, I guess I'll show you, like, the cages. So, I've moved Pop-Tart into the other side of the 100-gallon tank. So, Petrie is still on her normal side over here. You can see my reflection. <laughs> Hi! But, uh, this is just Petrie's side. It's just the same as always, I think. And this is pop tart side so there's a lot more things in this cage because he is a dwarf and for some reason i find that you can fit a lot more dwarf toys than syrian obviously it's because of the size difference so here's his cage kind of he has a bunch of different toys and yeah he really 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 likes this cage so yeah it also makes the room look different because now there isn't like this big bin cage stacked on top. I also wanted to show you guys this snowman chew that I gave Petrie. She loves these all living things Christmas chews like she goes nutto over them and Merlin did too. Pop tire not so much he doesn't really like them but um, Petrie absolutely adores these as you can see. She like carries it around and chews on it. It's really funny. So if you have like a hamster that loves chewing, um, I'd really recommend these because my hamsters seem to really, really enjoy these chews. I'm actually not too sure where Pop-Tart is currently. I think he kind of sleeps everywhere in this cage. Uh, I think he's sleeping in the back corner over there. So. Yeah, I can see the bedding moving. Can you guys see that? Pop tart! Yeah, let's see if we can get him to come out. Pop tart! He might wake up. Here he is. Oh, hi! Hey! Um, it's actually really neat to see like, a dwarf hamster in this tank. Because I've only had Syrians ever be in like a tank like this. And before... In his bin cage, you couldn't really see him that great because of the plastic. It was kind of opaque, I think that's the word. Um, but since this is glass, it's like transparent y so you can see through. So I think that's like a plus. I get to see him be a lot more active. So it's really neat comparing like a Syrian and a dwarf when you can see them like side by side. Hey, how are you? Good? Yeah. Hello. He always puts his feet up on the glass. It's so, so cute. Hi. How are you? Good. That's good. Do you want to come out? Oh, you want to eat the food. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, so cute. He's so funny. Like, once you wake him up, like, he won't go back to sleep until you, like, leave the room, basically. So now he's going to be up for a while, <laughs> or at least until I'm done this video and go edit it or something. But I love watching him. He's just so, like, cute, and he just runs around everywhere and goes in all these things, and it's just so funny watching him. There she is. Hello. She's all awake now, I think. Hi. 
I think she wasn't really sleeping. She was kind of awake, just listening in her house. Hey, oh, oh, I love when the hamsters yawn in camera. Like, I barely ever see the hamsters yawn, let alone get it on camera. So when I, you see like one of my hamsters yawn on camera, it's pretty rare. So you're pretty lucky to see that. Oh, there's this reflection and it's killing me. Hey. I gave her some more food too, so that might have woken her up. Hey, how are you? Oh, no, you don't want that food? She came back out. I don't know what she's doing. Oh, that's a little stretch and her little bum. <laughs> she has the cutest tail ever. Hey, what are you doing? Hi. She's so funny too, though. She does like the funniest things ever. She's one of my funniest teams. She reminds me of Peach a little. Don't leave! Stay over here! Let's see. She might come out. She is one of my less friendlier hamsters towards people, though. Like, she she won't bite or anything, but she just doesn't like coming out. Which is why she doesn't have the full tank. Here, let's see if I can tank her. Come here. No? I'll try and get her out. She wants to come out, kind of. As you can see, she's wanting to kind of come out, but she doesn't, like, want to go onto your hand. She's very, very funny. Um, she's, if you give her a really big cage, I can guarantee you she would not be coming out like this and she wouldn't want anything to do with people. So that's why she did, isn't in the full tank. Like, if she was a lot friendlier, she probably would have just gotten the whole tank. But since she does have this kind of people issue or the cage issue, she does get um, half the cage, so... She's a lot friendlier with a smaller cage, so I'm going to try and get her out. Here she is. Hi, sweetheart. Oh, let's not run away. And I had to show you guys bugs because everybody loves bugs. <laughs> so he's doing really good. I don't know why. Why don't you come around the cage, dum-dum? Oh, there you go. Hello. Hello. Oh, he's so friendly. Look at him. Hello. <laughs> he's probably the most loviest bunny I've ever met. Like, he just loves giving kisses. Like, as you can see, grooming me. Like, that's all he loves to do. And he loves cuddling. So, he loves his mummy. Yes, he does. Good kisses. Oh, and he also has a trick. If you put your mouth and you make a kissy face and you say kisses, he'll kiss you. Like, he'll lick your lips. It's kind of funny. I guess you can say kind of gross if you don't like animals kissing you. But since he... Oh, hello. You want to give them a kiss? Since he's my rabbit, I love him. So I don't really care if he, like, licks me or anything. And lastly, I'm going to show you Callie. Sorry you guys don't get to see Isabella today. I think she's upstairs with my parents, but... Callie is down here sleeping. She's always sleeping on my bed. She loves coming into this room and sleeping on my bed. So she's doing really well. Hi. So yeah, guys, that's basically it for this blog or not blog, vlog. <laughs> Those two words get me mixed up so much, but that's all for this little Christmas vlog and I hope you enjoyed this Christmas series that's going to be happening very very soon. Um, there's going to be lots of DIY treats and toys so enjoy. Thanks for watching. Bye!